Hey everyone, how y'all doing? I got a nifty little knife to look at today. And this is the Cold Steel Holdout 3. Nifty little knife. Um, this is a loaner from a friend of mine. Let me borrow it to check it out. And yeah, I'm glad. I'm happy to check out a cool knife. But I looked this up, and I'm Blade HQ. I guess they're going for about 90 bucks. But, <clears throat> which seems kind of high, but what you got here is, yeah, three inch spear point blade. It's made out of CPM S35 VN steel. So good steel on this thing. Um, thumb stud opening. Pivot rides, far as I can tell, looking down in there with a flashlight, nylon washers. Um, of course, has the cold steel triad lock, which is an awesome lock. There's absolutely no play. Up, down, left, right. It, it locks up solid. Everybody knows the triad or the triad lock is um pretty durable lock. One of the best out there. Handle is made out of G10 and. That's about it. There's no steel liners in this thing. Um, it's very, very thin, as you can see. 0 0.37 inches. So, very thin knife. Um, but, yeah. Pretty cool little knife. Um, it's not, not too much to complain about with this. There's a couple of things, though. And I will, I'll get into that, but yeah, it says three inches. I actually, I measure the blade at 2.92 and that's going from, see how the G10 curves a little bit from the middle to the tip. I get 2.92. So I don't, I don't think it matters where you measure. It's actually going to be under three inches. So. If that's a rule, that's, you know, something you have to deal with. Blades under three inches. I'm pretty sure this will fit. Fit within that. Um, yeah. Nice smooth action on it. You can depress it and kind of shake it down. To close it one-handed. Thumb studs. I've seen these before on some cold steels. And I'm not sure exactly how they work. Um, right now, sticking out more for right hand open. And it's shorter on the opposite side. And it just has a flat head um, slot in it for a flat head screwdriver. I'm assuming you could turn that either way to adjust it. You can make them equal. Make the right side longer like like it is or make the left side longer or flip it whatever I'm not 100% sure how that works but that's how it works that's kind of cool um, yeah has a couple of spots a couple of divots up here on the top of the blade for jimping which you know kind of works I prefer a little you know more regular type of jimping but kind of goes along the top of the handle a little bit so they're almost equal spacing so that's you know that looks good um said the handle is very thin at 0 0.37 <clears throat> tall this dimension it goes from like 1.12 up here down about 0.85 down on the end and it's pretty hand filling um, really does not feel bad in hand um, I absolutely do not feel the pocket clip pocket clips not an issue does not cause a hot spot no sharp edges really you got a little bit of jumping down here on the bottom of the scale Pardon me. Um, that works pretty good. That's that's got some grip to it. 
The texturing on a G10 is pretty rough. It is very, very grippy. So, there's no finger guard or anything on this, but when you hang a 9 iron to it, um, it's pretty locked in. It's pretty grippy. I don't think it's going to go nowhere. I don't think you're going to have to worry too much about sliding up on the blade. Although that's, that could be, you know, that's a possibility because there's absolutely no finger groove or guard up here. Got this little finger groove, which I guess you could hold back on it, put your index finger in it, but I, get, I tend to put my middle finger in that finger groove, put my index finger up here on this jimping, and it feels pretty pretty solid solid in my hand I get a good purchase on this handle even though it's very very thin um, like I said no liners just a G10 and got three pass-through holes so that reduces the weight um, I did weigh it and I get 2.4 ounces it's listed 2.5 so yeah very lightweight and it <clears throat> closed up it's not too bad I I'm not real hot on knives that have you know it's set up like that I'd prefer things to flow a little better but I have quite a few knives like that so no big deal centering on this is right down the middle um, no lanyard hole on this um, pocket clip is reversible right hand or left hand tip up um, yeah I like a lot about this um, got good steel S35 VN steel I like it um, nice spear point I like the looks of the blade action pretty pretty smooth there's no no catching or anything I can feel it I can feel it but pretty smooth um, triad lock like I said everybody knows triad locks very strong durable lock one of the best out there on a folding knife. Um, G10 <laughs> is very grippy. You get good traction on it. There's no sharp edges. Feels good in hand. Feels good in my hand. I like that. Um, pocket clip is reversible. Which kind of... The G10 and the pocket clip kind of leads into a bad or a con. Is, although I like that little short clip and it causes no hot spots, I barely feel it. Um, it is one of the stiffest pocket clips I've ever dealt with. And it lands on the G10, which is very rough, very grippy. Um, I don't know how it works for him, but for me in jeans or even my sweatpants, I can't, I can barely get it, get it in my pocket. Um, I struggle with it and I struggle getting it out. Um, so that's not good. If you're wearing thin slacks, it might be okay. And you could with this being so light and dress pants and stuff. <clears throat> I mean, some of it's going to show. It's not a deep carry pocket clip. But maybe maybe it wouldn't be such an issue. I have nine times out of ten when I'm home, I have sweatpants I now. Um, these are pretty thick ones. And my jeans are pretty thick. Plus... My favorite pair of jeans, the pockets fraying. So yeah, heck of a time putting this in and out of my pocket. Um, but that's 
that's that. Um, the biggest thing with this particular knife, which I went on several um, websites, I googled it, I looked at pictures, I've watched videos just, just to check on this, and this is, I did not see it anywhere else. They screwed up so bad sharpening this. It's got a nice, nice um, sharpening trial, which kind of is in the plunge grind. So that, well, actually it's, yeah, it's kind of, kind of into the plunge a little bit. But they told me they did not go all the way to the sharpening trial. Crap, they, they stopped way up here on both sides. So you have this much right here. It's not even sharp. They didn't even touch it. It needs to come back to the sharpening trial. Then it'd be excellent. And like I said, this is the only one of all the pictures I've looked at and videos and that's the only one I've seen like that. So <clears throat> I don't even know if he's noticed that. But um, yeah, other than the, they didn't sharpen it very good from the factory. Um, and this pocket clip, this had a longer pocket clip and it came down between these two holes. So it had a little more um, flex to it, a little more give. I think it'd be okay, but that is short. That thing is, pocket clip is, you know, from the tip to the screws, the flat where the screws are, 1.35 inches, a little, a little over an inch and a quarter. Yeah. And it does not give much. Yeah, that is one sturdy, sturdy clip. But <clears throat> at least if you get it in your pocket, it's not going to fall out. That's 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 for sure. Um, but yeah, that's it. You know, they did a poor job sharpening it. Rest of the bevel, rest of the edge, the grind looks pretty good. They just didn't go back all the way. I, 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 I don't get it. I've never had a knife that they stopped. Jeez, how how far away is this? Hundred six. Yeah, zero point one six. Oh, zero point one five maybe. Well, they didn't did, didn't even sharpen it, but take that off the thing. Say they sharpened it correctly. It's not a bad knife. I like it. Um, like I said, pocket clip and a rough G10. Otherwise, I like the texture of the G10. It gives good grip, but <clears throat> that pocket clip was easier to use. This would be a pretty awesome knife. That's the only, that would be the only complaint I'd have about it. Forgetting about the sharpening that they screwed up. Because even though there's no finger guard or anything, you're locked in this thing. Um, it's locked into your hand. You know, stabbing. There's always a possibility it could happen, but I don't think you're going to slide up on the blade. Kind of, I get a four finger grip on it. And these holes, my fingers kind of fall into these holes, so that, that even adds to it. I don't know if that's intentional or just the way my fingers fit. But yeah, at least my pinky and my ring finger absolutely kind of grip onto those holes. My middle finger partly but yeah I guess that'll do it for this video I just wanted to show this to you guys I was able to check one out pretty cool 
So, yeah, do the usual like, comment, subscribe if you haven't. And until next video, bye.